Thanks for coming. That was fun. There's three topics I want to uh, bring out for your discussion in your meeting tonight, today. One is uh, uh, the very first thing he says to teachers. Not many of you, you should even presume to be teachers. And what I thought was so ironic, we're living in a time where I'm hearing this kind of discussion, things like we as Christians, we as Christians, well, we're Christians, and therefore, because we're Christians, we think this way, and we think this way, and we have this worldview, blah, 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 blah. And there seems to be very little uh, investigation, uh, personalized investigation, as to what a Christian is, and who a Christian is, and am I a Christian, and what does that mean? And then you got James, the brother of Jesus, saying, not many of you should even presume to be teachers, because, you know, we as teachers can be judged more strictly. He's actually creating a kind of Marine Corps here saying, hey, listen, gang, don't take this presumptively. We're living in a very presumptive time. It's almost like being a Christian is like having a driver's license, and you show it, and you say, well, see, I have a driver's license. So I drive in New Mexico or whatever state, Massachusetts. Oh, I'm a Christian, right? I'm a Christian. And it's all mixed up. James has taken us to the root now you say, well, well, what are you trying to do? Condemnation? No. The root of your faith is the joy of your faith. The root of your faith, I mean, I, I think a verse for that is, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs the kingdom of heaven. Get to the root of your faith, and you get to the joy of your faith. You get to your need. You get to the very basic root. And if you have something to teach, that's where the teaching comes from. Somebody once said to me, how do I become a teacher like you? What do I have to do to get the certificate? And I said to him, where are your weakest? Think about it. Don't tell me. Where are your weakest? So he thought about it. Okay, I thought about where I'm, where I'm weakest. I said, that's where your ministry begins. Stop there. And that's what James is saying. It's a wonderful thing to teach, but be humble about it. And he, he amplifies that, but I want to go to one more thing before that. The tongue is the next subject that I think we should talk about. The tongue. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it's a very small part of the body, but it's dynamite. Watch out. It blows up in your face. Have you ever said things you didn't want to say? Have you ever said something that you regret saying? Husbands, wives, have you ever said something to each other that you wish you didn't say? And even when you were saying, you're saying, oh no, this is from hell. I'm in hell zone. And it is from hell. That's exactly what James says. We praise God and Father. By the way, I left out a verse. I'm very sorry. Made in His image. Him, we praise Him, and we curse those who are made in His image. I left that out. It's just a mistake. It happens. But this is what we do with the tongue. We're constantly thinking about the things you say behind closed doors. Here's, here's another one. <laughs> this just goes to me. Think of the things you say when nobody's looking, even to yourself, and the things you build up. The resentment, the fear. Fear is close to hate. You build it up, you build it up, and then you blurt it out. Basically, what James is saying is the tongue, it's like damage control. It's, it's, it's a problem no matter what. You've got to minimize the damage control. Say, it's not like, you know, uh, when I used to live in the Midwest, I used to say a conversation with people in the Midwest goes like this. <laughs> Joking. No, I <laughs> mean nothing, nothing. No, I'm not saying wear a mask and say nothing. The guy's bleeding to death, you go... Or he's needy, and you got to help. He goes, well, God's sovereign. Yeah, but my, I'm, my arm is bleeding. I mean, no. My heart is breaking. No. But I am saying, less is more. What if we could write the things down, journal, get these things going so that we have a, a sense of who we are and what we want to say. And then if we're talking for five or six minutes at a time, it has meaning and purpose. And we've waited, 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 we've spoken. Because the tongue is a warning. Watch out. That's what he's really saying. And then finally, the third word I want to share is wisdom. Now, at the beginning of uh, chapter 1, I didn't amplify on this too much, but wisdom. I mean, it's almost like the whole book of James is seeking wisdom. He gives that generously to all who ask. Wisdom, wisdom. And, you know, the Bible says that Jesus is the wisdom of God. Okay, here we go. Presumption. Jesus is the wisdom of God. I have wisdom. I am a Christian. I go to church, I think, once a month, whether they ask me or not. Think about it, folks. 
exaggeration to make a point. The point is, <clears throat> Jesus is the wisdom of God, <clears throat> but James gives us an insight into what that wisdom is. He says, wisdom comes from humility. Humility brings forth wisdom. <clears throat> now, Jesus is the wisdom of God, but humility, brokenness, sometimes I call it brokenness to boldness, and boldness to brokenness. Humility brings forth the Jesus that we call on, that we know. The name of the Lord is not just Jesus, J-E-S-U-S, -S, or Yahshua. It's His way, His truth, His life. And when that comes upon you, you say, wow, I can't, but He can. He, he can. He never said, I could. He always said He would. You maybe heard that before. That's a nice phrase, but slow it down and think about it. Bring that into your relationships with your, your friends, your enemies, your workers, your wives, your husbands, your children. Bring this into your day. Meditate on this. This is the word. So these are three things I want you to share and you talk to you about. Teachers. What does it mean to be a teacher? We as Christians, get away from that for a minute. And find out what it is to be a Christian. Come to a place of... Um, humility. We're going to really share good things. You're going to think about it. And sometimes you've got to speak the truth and love. Remember, truth and love are the same person. And again, wisdom. This is all so we can have wisdom and it bears fruit, the fruit of righteousness. And it grows and it grows from the inside out. Have a good discussion today. And remember, don't grow old, grow up. God bless you. Thank you very much.